Hi, Yukimi. Hi. Welcome to Germany. So um, I got you a little present, and I actually went for one of my favorite singers of all time, and that's Grace Jones. I love oh. her, and she did a fantastic book um, called Jungle Fever with Jean Paul Gaudio. Yeah. So this is for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm actually a real big fan as well. Fantastic. So, yeah. so we have a lot in common. Yeah, I love Grace Jones. Um, the pictures look amazing. Oh, fantastic. So have you been to Berlin before? A couple times. Yeah? Yeah, we had a show here. It's constantly evolving. It's, it's one of those cities which is it's just so interesting because there's so much happening. I think yeah. that's super cool. But I also have a home in New York. So New York is actually my favorite city in the world. I actually lived in New York um, for like a year and a half. Yeah? Yeah. So yeah, it was, it was definitely an inspiring time for me. I don't know what it is about that city, but it, it's so, it's the most international city that I've ever been to in my entire life. And no matter what you are, what you want to be, what you want to do, it's just fine in New York. And this is really cool. I think that that's why I was, I came back to Sweden and sort of to the, my city, like the most, one of the most boring cities <laughs> in the world. <laughs> okay, you've got to tell me now a little bit about Gothenburg because I've never ever been. Yeah, it's, uh, it's Sweden's second largest city. Okay. And, um, but it's still very small. <laughs> it's quite quiet. Um, so when I'm home, I'm like, I want to be in the studio. I want to be creative. Sure. Um, and uh, I think that when I was in New York, I, that's what I was saying before, I just found myself kind of seeing everyone else be creative, not having time to do. But maybe that was what really inspired you as well, because you was like, yes. I want to have a part of this. Right. And I think that's really cool. Yeah, definitely. So who's one of your biggest, would you say, who's one of your biggest influences? Um, and it doesn't have to be like in music, but just generally. I guess like everyone, you have your different periods, uh, sort of Absolutely. where you go yeah. through different yeah. um, stages and stuff. But um, I definitely have always been a big fan of Prince. Yeah, he's fantastic. Um, I remember listening to him sort of in, when I was like 13, 13, 14, and, and just like, I don't know, I'd get lost in his songs. I'd play the same one over and over and over like 20 times in my room, crank yeah. it up. Yeah. So I have a little gift for you. Thank you, I love presents. You go. Thank you very much. Oh, nice. Wow. So that is a little seven inch of our new single. Fantastic, mm. it's great. And that's something you can go to the gym in. <laughs> oh, but this is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, but I love like these kind of like cool graphic tees because I just think, So that's a picture this that my great. dad did. This is one of your father's? Yeah. It's amazing. Does it mean anything or is it just a cool image? Oh um, God, it's amazing. It's actually got like little people in here. I yeah, actually, actually, it's really huge. Wow. And, and he made it for my older sister, Sandra. So there's a lot more to the picture, but it's just Right, like, this is just like a, a proportion. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you so much. I You're love welcome. it. I will wear it with pride and I will send you a picture. <laughs> nice. So do you ever get like, um, you know, you're getting really, really well known and actually quite famous, which I think is, is wonderful. Do you ever get concerned that it's kind of affects you or maybe, you know, you have to then go commercial because there's such pressure on you and, you know, how do you deal with that? How do you say, this is my creativity, this is where I started and this is what I want to retain? I guess, firstly, I definitely don't feel that. <laughs> I don't feel like I've, you know, sort of... But that's great, because I think a lot of, not every artist has that luxury. Yeah, so I think, like, everything that we've sort of achieved, we've done ourselves, and, I mean, it's sort of been with help of people who've believed in our music, who've, you right. know, supported us, and 
And, you know, we have never had sort of that push from the label where, you know, right. partly because we had no other choice. I mean, it was a good thing, but, you know, you just don't have the budget to get that person. Sure. So you've got to think of a way. But so. do you not think, I always say that um, creative people who don't have the money to start with are more creative because you have, it forces you to think outside the box. You have no choice. Right. And when you think outside the box, you come up with something which is, you know, is a new take. It's right. a new approach. Definitely. Whereas if, if it's all laid on for you, you just take it because it's, all, it's already processed. So I think that's been an advantage for you. Yeah, definitely. I mean, def I think that even, even like with my singing, like a lot right. of people will be like, oh, your style is so special. Like, what made you sing like that? And it's kind of like... Well, I always wanted to be able to sing like this person, but I yeah. couldn't. Yeah. So, so the disadvantage. This is my style. Yeah, the disadvantage or the the fact that I couldn't make me sing like advantage. this instead. Absolutely. So, yeah. so do you feel like you have those limitations? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do because I think um, it's a huge business. It's one of the biggest fashion houses in the world, and um, I don't necessarily have lots and lots of freedom to do things always my way right. but what I do have is a voice and a say which is listened to and where I do have the chance to really express creativity which is really right for the brand is when we do a show. And then I guess when you have those moments where you have to work in a certain frame yeah. that maybe it brings out the something unexpected out of you as Every well. Every single time because you know limitations also makes you think in a more creative way. Right. And the interesting thing with fashion is because it does change so radically, right. you're always doing something new anyway, so it never ever gets boring. And mm. that's what keeps it fresh for me. That's why I love it so much. Well, cheers. Cheers. Absolutely. Cool. <laughs>